down by as many as 15 points in the first half. Florida State came all the way back as Kyle Turpin hit a layup with less than two minutes to go. That was the difference in this one as Florida State upsets Miami 55 to 54. You know, I, I think our guys understand. I mean, they were very determined. They were very focused. They didn't feel like we felt that we had to make something happen. They was not. They were not going to give us the game. We had to create some offense for my defense. And I think his experience told him that somebody had to make some, some plays. And he made several defensive plays that gave us an emotional lift. I think today was an example of how we've been in this situation before a couple of times now. So today we actually were able to overcome the, the hill and um, actually come out and come out on top and get a win against a very good team in Miami. I think it's just defensively. Uh, we stepped our uh, energy up, you know, coming out of halftime. Uh, we were down a couple points, and we knew that our defensively that we needed to make a lot more stops, and uh, we just made sure that our defense created opportunities offensively for us. What I've said all along that we have to win games by committing. We need different guys stepping up from time to time, uh, but but that tells you the, the strength of everyone, the preparation of the teams that we're playing against. Because Miami was determined not to let uh, Booker, Kofer, and X be the offensive factor they have been. And we needed other guys to step up. And fortunately for us tonight, uh, other guys stepped up, and that's the way it's going to be. Oh yeah, that's that's what we've been emphasizing all all week, all season to get in the ball, get the touch, get the opportunity. So we went out there and they, they produced their for us. Okay, a couple of other people step up for the game, and uh, I think that's what the bigs did. We were more physical than we usually been, and we knew that you know X wasn't going to get any touches, so we going to make sure we call for the ball and is being aggressive and be able to finish in the paint. The Knolls look to end their homestand 3-0 as they take on Clemson on Wednesday evening at 9 o'clock right here in the Tucker Center. That will wrap things up from a wild one right here in Tallahassee at LaneHurtSeminoles.com.